Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Isaac. I am still a little bit ill, but not too bad. So we're gonna jump in as... Oh, duh, 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 duh. I want someone that's like easy to play, but like not super dis... Not like, like, I want someone that's interesting. We need to get another Delirium kill, really. Should we maybe just go as Isaac? It's been a while since we've done an Isaac run and... I kind of want to try to do Delirium. I should probably go for um, Unlocking Tainted Isaac, but we'll see where our, our run is by the time we get there. We'll see sort of what we're looking like, because we might be able to get a Delirium run. I'd really like to. I hate Delirium, so it'd be nice to get him out the way with, and Isaac's a good one to get him out the way with. I think our Tarnished Isaac Unlock is beat Delirium as Tainted Isaac, so that's obviously something that we're going to go for in the future as well. A lot of money off the bat there, that's rather nice. As for the question of the day today, straight into it. Um, what is something that you have to do as an adult that really annoys you that isn't paying bills? Um, Taurus? I don't really like it with base speed, but Taurus is a Zodiac item and we need to unlock Planetariums slash unlock um, Andromeda, so I will take it regardless. And it's, it's not awful because like getting it early means that now we can prioritize speed upgrades in order to make it a lot, lot better. As long as we never hit two speed, um, basically the max speed I ever want to get to is like a 1.7. If you hit two speed, this item's just annoying because um, it activates instantly upon walking in a room, which isn't always a bad thing, but it can ruin some really fun builds. So I, I, t I tend to prefer, uh, I'm going to go for this. It could yield us with a soul heart or something. Or just another key. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Taurus, it's it's one of those items that I find a bit iffy. It can be really useful, but yeah, if your speed gets too high, it can ruin an otherwise really fun build. But like I said, it is a planetarium item. If we can get two more of these, we unlock planetariums. Um, and we also unlock Andromeda, which I'd be very, very happy with. Um, yeah, but yeah, how is everyone doing today? In terms of the question of the day for me... I feel like for me, it's it's got to be, um, there you go. I feel like for me, it's got to be like, um, that's pretty decent. Uh, let's go to the alt path here as well, why not? Um, for me, it's got to be like, people expecting you know things because you're now an adult. Like, as a, as a child, you could get away with being an idiot for like, your entirety of your life as a child. It's amazing. You don't have to know anything. People don't expect things of you, it's great. But then as soon as you hit adulthood, even at like just 18, automatically people just assume you know everything. And it's really annoying, especially like in your field of expertise or, or whatever. Like, um, obviously I'm not saying that like if you're an expert on one specific very niche thing that you're not gonna know stuff about it, you probably are. But more so what I mean is like, I did computer science. So people are just like, hey, come fix my printer. And I'm like, I don't fucking know how to fix your printer. Like, you, what did you think that my degree in coding was? That we'd oh, do a bit of software coding and then we'd just learn how to fix printers. It's like, I, I, I understand. What the fuck is that thing? What on earth is this little gross train of... Ugh. Fleshy flies. I do not like it. That was bizarre looking. Uh, range up again, nice. Our range is pretty high now. Um, but yeah, that seems to just be like an expectation that like, oh, because you did um, computer science, you must know everything about technology and computer hardware. It's like, no. I did a computer software course. There is there's certain aspects of computer hardware I do know, but that doesn't mean you... Oh, for God's sake, that's my devil deal. That doesn't mean you can automatically assume that I just know everything there is to know about computing. It's very annoying. Um, and it doesn't just go for, like, your area of expertise. It goes for, like, all aspects of, um, of life. So many times when I'm in my job or just generally, people just expect you to know things because you're an adult. And I'm like, hey, hey now. Hey now, big boy. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> don't don't lay any, like, preconceived, um, ooh, eternal bombs is probably pretty good. We'll take that. Candy type probably would have been better. Um... But Eternal Bombs is pretty fun. Uh, especially if we can get more bombs as we go forward. Yeah, it's just... It's one of those things that, like... It's it's kind of weird, because it's... It's kind of like a, a self-perpetuated thing, because... 
you sort of, even though I get annoyed at expect, at people expecting me to know things, I also do expect others to know things. So it's kind of like a self-perpetuated thing where basically all adults just expect that everyone um, knows more than they do. And it just creates this, this big issue of um, everyone thinking that people know stuff and asking them questions that they can't answer. And it's just, it's just a pain in the ass, really, isn't it? Taurus should proc any minute. There you go. We could still get a devil deal here. We unfortunately didn't. That's more range. Wow. Okay, we are a ranged boy. Holy hell. That yeah, that's that's gotta be probably my number one. Um I, I think the other thing as well is just sorting things out that you otherwise wouldn't have to. Like, when you live at home and, like, the dishwasher breaks or something. When you live with your parents is what I mean by at home. When you live with your parents, the dishwasher breaks. It is literally no concern of yours. You don't have to worry about it at all. And as soon as you become an adult and you rent or have a house, it's set, it, it becomes your problem. <laughs> and it's like, for, for fuck's sake, I don't want to have to spend half of my day doing this. Also, also, I know that many, many people as kids do a lot of chores around the house to help keep the house clean, but you don't really clean as much as your parents do. Um, so it's, it's a, it's not as big of an issue, but goddamn, um, how does this guy die again? Is it just kill the flies around him? I think it is. Okay, this is a slightly precarious situation. These guys are, dude, Beelzebub, get off me. Um, yeah, um, all of a sudden, when you have your own house and you're an adult, you're expected to clean up your own shit. <laughs> Which is completely fair, but also it's like, oh my god, I've now got a day off of work, huzzah, and I have to spend 25% of my time and my day off, maybe more sometimes, just cleaning the house. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just, all feels like such a waste of time. What the hell hit me then? I always say that, and people always go, Hey, it was this bullet here. It was this tear here, like the fire that just shot at me. That's what, that's most definitely what it was. Um, I, I will just say, I do realize, like, most of the time, like, now I'm, I'm not going to say all the time, but a lot of the time, I do kind of know what hit me. I'm more so saying that out of, Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> that was kind of out of nowhere. I'm not saying it as legitimately, I have no idea what just happened. Most of the time, I'm pretty understanding of what got me hit. I'm, I'm more so saying it of like, excuse me, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um, but anyways. How, how is your guys' day going? I'm definitely feeling a lot better today. I would not say that I'm feeling tip top. Um, I'm still a little bit under the weather. I hope it's not too audible in my voice, but um, I, yeah, I'm definitely still not back to full full um, strength yet, but I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. The extra range really helps here with just dealing with these guys. We need some orbitals to make Taurus that much more powerful. Okay, these guys are a little scary. They, they fire quite fast shots pretty rapidly. They also go under the water, which I think is really cool, but also very scary. I feel like at this point, Fiend Folio has become so ingrained into my Isaac series and like my playthroughs of Isaac that it's hard to remember what enemies are vanilla and what aren't. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I really am not a fan of, the, of these enemies at all. Um, oh, for, don't do that, you shit. I'm definitely getting hit in this room. I... Can you just die? Taurus, please. Thank you. I know it's not going to help me with these guys. Oh, it did. Okay. That, I'm surprised I lived through. That was that was shocking. I can't remember what you do. Okay, you're not so bad. Don't throw a bucket at me. That was a pretty fucking good throw. Oh my god, I slipped right through there. This is treacherous as shit. <laughs> I'm very scared. Okay. That was horrible. Um, We got the D2. Can be thrown and will spin on the floor temporarily. Any pickups, enemies, and tears 
but touch it will be re-rolled. I've never really messed around with the D2 before. Maybe that could be interesting. That could be intriguing, and it's fucking better than Scapula, so... Interesting. I've never really played around with this. Especially the tears passing through it being re-rolled. I wonder if that affects enemy tears at all. Oh my god, my speed. My speed, damn it. She is so low. It makes me upset. It makes me sad. When my speed is so bad. I right, remember that our bombs are going to be our main killing device. Let's see if we can buy a soul heart here real quick. Fortunately not. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Dude, can you stop jumping? Holy shit. Dude. Calm yourself, my guy. Also, that D2 did not last long. I thought it was going to be much... Dude. You need to stop fucking jumping. Wow, that must be like a champion version of him that just jumps. I'm willing to check out a devil deal here. Um... Unfortunately, nothing really too good. Um, I think I'm going to leave that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, sir, that is none of that. Like, the concussion's pretty good, but it's a, it's a, um, what's it called? Um, pocket active. And I, knowing myself, I'm just going to not end up using it. I, I, I know myself too well. Ooh. I do have to say, I think the notched axe is going to be better than the D2. Um, I know I just got the D2, but the notched axe, meaning that we don't have to spend any bombs on secret rooms or uh, tinted rocks, means that all of our bombs can be used for combat, which, considering we have the eternal bombs, whatever they're called, um, that's very, very positive, because we can probably kill most bosses in, like, two bombs. Definitely could do with a bit more damage. Um, definitely Squeezy has been a, a small hell. There you go. Nice. Trying to get a little bit of maybe a crawl space, but I don't want to spend all of my charges just yet. Um, let's go through this door and see if we can find a secret room. No? See, now this room is just treacherous as shit too. Oh, you little fucker. You move so precariously, little fella. No secret room anywhere here, sadly. Right. This guy's gonna jump on me, so I've gotta be ready for that. And I'm not ready for it. Oh my god. Almost got him. Probably shouldn't release the spider until this guy's dead, to be honest. There you go. Release the spider. And what we got over here? Just another one of you? Okay, you're fine. You do have eye frames, which is slightly annoying, but for the most part, you're pretty easy. Jar of Honey's decent enough. Still no tinted rock. Oh, I'm still also not sure where secret room is. Here? There you go. Found it. Jar of Honey being able to slow things for us is rather nice here. It's just, it's kind of like, ball, um, what's it called? Ball of Tar, but kind of on crack. I couldn't remember if it could destroy those guys or not. Clearly it cannot. Okay. It does seem to have made our tears bigger too. I don't think it gave us any damage though. Okay. Got ya. You two gonna pass away? No. I'm gonna kill them both because I want the screen to return to normal colours. There you go. I could destroy all those skulls to see if we can get some cards or whatnot. That'd be pretty useful. Oh god. That guy came at me at lightning speed. Also, that dude's invisible. Got him. Not too bad. Still no tinted rocks, though. Yeah, just lay the floor with, like, a ton of honey. There's a honey... The honey only spreads when we hit directly hit an enemy, though. I was thinking maybe it's it's spread while traveling, so we could just like lay the floor with it. That's not quite the case. That's fine though. 
still really good to get everyone um, all lubed up. Yeah, this room's going to be a little bit of a nightmare. Just because I can't really primarily focus one of these enemies. Which makes it a little hard to kill them all. Also, slightly limited space. We've lost quite a lot of HP here. Not amazing. Killed the little mushroom buddies because they're annoying as hell. Whenever we kill these guys, you've got to be prepared for these guys to jump at you at lightning speed. Definitely need to purchase some stuff from the shop right now because we have a lot of money to spend. I might just donate a bunch actually because we're getting kind of close to 500 and I'm sure 500 is the next um, the next shop level upgrade to level 3. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. It might be a little bit later on. But I, I think it's 500. And we're like 455 right now so we're not that far off. Probably the next run or two. I hear a dime. That, that certainly helps. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Gotcha. What made us so small? I feel like we were big, we were larger than this before. Don't shit out another one of these guys, god damn it. Just had done with you. Oh, pigs. Um. Okay, some of those coins disappeared. I don't know. I don't think I need to kill the pigs. I don't think they do anything if I kill them. Cool. Oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. There's more enemies here. For some reason, I wasn't expecting that. Also, there's an underground boy. Hello. Dun ah! The fucking mushroom almost got me hit. That would, that would have been terrible. Okay, I think I'm just going to donate to 500 here. Because I, I have enough now. If it doesn't jam, that is. Fuck you. <laughs> you had to do it to me, didn't you? I'm going to go for this as well. I know it's quite a lot of bombs to use, but... Ah, bugger. I was hoping to buy the placard, but we'll just get the soul heart for now. <laughs> that is a little unfortunate, but next run... Next run is pretty much a guarantee now of getting... Um, getting our machine to 500 and getting whatever that next upgrade might be. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I think I know. I think it's just the shop upgrade. Taurus would be really good here. We we definitely need to speed up to, to, to proc Taurus a little bit faster. Because um, it, it is definitely useful for rooms like this where there's a lot of low HP enemies. But it's just not proccing quick enough to make a difference for the most part. Doesn't last long either, so kind of got to consider that as well. Another key there, lovely. Key, myself and I. Looks like a gap I can fit through there. Not quite sure where second secret room is. Can I kill this guy in one cycle? Yes, I can. Awesome. Right, second secret room. Here, maybe? Here, maybe? Same thing, but on the other side, maybe? There you go. Unfortunately, not a very good one. Although I can open it with the notched axe, which I always forget. It does have a double bomb in there. I'm honestly not that arsed. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It is the Fallen. Wow. Two bombs and it's done. Medical bill... Okay, I'm not 100% sure what the medical bill does. I think it takes all of your money to fully heal you, which is really unfortunate because I was like, that's not a boss item, but it is a devil deal item and we got the fallen. So we actually got probably one of the worst items we could have possibly gotten. That's a real shame. Like that item is utter dog shit to us. That is a big F. Oh, fuck me. That was this room. This room got hot real fast. This room got hot real fast. Void chest. Nah, I want all that. I'm just going to pop the void chest now. It'd be funny if it just sucked up enemies. Whoa! String bean boy is getting getting fresh. He's getting real close. Nothing. Huzzah. going to take you out like that. I can't be asked dealing with you. 
There you go. We've got three waves of the ship. Honestly, the slowing, the honey is just top tier. Really is helping a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. And jumpy fat boys next. Which seem to always hit me if they manage to jump, but... Oh, God. We, we got close. Oh, another jump. Really, boy? Really? Hey, there you go. Really got a red heart out of that, so the void chest would have been useless anyways. Oh, God. Frimstony. But yeah, I'm starting my morning off with some Isaac today. Just a little bit of Isaac to start the day. You know how it be. Like, for those of you that still play Isaac a lot, I was I was talking about this in the last episode, actually, about how many people watch me for my commentary versus watch me for Isaac. Um, and, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to hear how many of you that are watching mainly for Isaac, um, how many of you, like, still play Isaac, and how, how regularly do you play it? Because um, a, a good few of you said that, like, um, you, you also watch because you just find Isaac infinitely entertaining, I think was one of the quotes. Um, which, I agree, I also am very entertained by it, but it'd be interesting to know how many of you um, are still playing the game, or maybe haven't played it at all, or like, it'd be interesting to know what routine you're in with how many runs you do and stuff, and if you're still like going for Dead God or whatnot. That'd be a really interesting thing to know about all you guys. Because, um, uh, for me, I actually, um, I actually watched about maybe four to five hundred, oh my god, these guys are a bit spicy. I probably watched about four to five hundred episodes of Northern Lions Isaac series before I even played the game. Like, it, it it was a lot of me watching it before I even touched the game once. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there like that where they maybe have, especially now, like, with it being so long, they maybe have played it, but just not in a while. Or um, they maybe do play it still, but only on occasion, and they more so just watch people play it instead. Because I feel like this, this game is just so watchable. It's just... That's, that's why, like, it's such a constant on my channel, and it, it, it has been for so long, because it is just so, one of those games that's just so watchable, I think. Even, like I said yesterday, even if people are just watching for the commentary um, and don't care so much for Isaac, it's still a really entertaining game to have in the background, um, even if it's more of a secondary thing. Um, it's still one of those games that's just really, really good to just have on. I mean, I still, I don't watch a ton of Isaac content anymore, mainly just because I play it a lot myself, so I, I, I kind of get tucked out on it. But th these dudes are crazy. You fire at such speed. Um, yeah, um, do you know what? I'm going to pop this in here. Um, yeah, like, I um, I still do watch it a good bit. I watch... Um, any any Isaac video Hutz releases or Alexa releases, I'm always I'm always on those two. Well, th this this is definitely a recipe for getting hit right here. Cause these guys explode into little bits of bones. Right, good good. Little worried about my current HP levels. I'll be honest. This room got a lot harder when they uh, introduced that host. Not terrible. Let's get you sorted out, fella. Right, what you got for us? Not much. An active we don't really need. I guess I'll pick this up. Oh, that was terrible value. Wow. That was terrible value. Okay, keep on moving. I like the way we have our little horns on our head, and then um, we've got our little brimstone with his little horns as well. But yeah, those of you that that know who you are, that like comment every day and um, are always taking part in the question of the day, you guys are the real G's. Oh, any of you like lurkers, silent viewers too? Anyone? But I always love reading the comments and seeing people get involved with the question of the day and just get involved with the episode in general. It's also one of those things, one one thing that that is kind of weird with YouTube um, is like, well, two things really is, one, it's very, very hard to get excited about like high view numbers. Say I get like 
3,000 views on a video, but it only has like two comments. It's really hard to get excited about the view number if like no one comments, because it's just like, it doesn't really feel real. So like when there's more comments, it kind of validates it more. We have got Taurus, um, Leo at the minute, sorry. So technically if we get another uh, planetarium item real fast, oh dude, come on now. If we get another planetarium item real fast, we have actually managed to um, have actually managed to get the planetarium unlocked. I'm, I'm going to count it, but I'm going to say it's unlikely. The grabber dude just going at it there. Um, yeah, I'm going to say it. Uh, and then the the other thing as well is like, um, when I ask questions of the day, I just ask questions in the episode. It's always interesting to see how many people answer, especially if it's one that's later in the video. Like, sometimes, I don't do it often, but sometimes I'll ask a question nearer the end of the episode. And it's, it's, it's very, um, it's always very sort of difficult. Bible? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna take it because I need to get the unlock, but, um, it's very, very annoying to see. Boo you. I'll fight you. Oh, what the fuck happened then? What the actual shit happened then? I am very confused. <laughs> I'm so perplexed as to what just happened. So, I walked into them by accident. I didn't even need a bomb to, to, to bring into life. And then he instantly died because I dropped a red poop? Okay then. That was all round quite confusing. Um, I have to say I'm not all that enthused on how well this run's going. Um, we've not got anything stellar yet, so... I don't know, we're on Necro 2. We're sort of getting to the point where it's, it's going to be kind of difficult to um, really do much more. But yeah, it's, it's, it's always hard to know how many people watch the video to the end. There's certainly a few of you out there in the comments... Um, that I know you always watch the video at the end because normally you'll answer the questions that I ask near the end or whatnot. Um, some of you will even comment stuff about the last boss fight and stuff like that. But it's it's I'm always curious to know of the people that are still here, of the of the like seven or eight hundred of you that are watching on the regular basis. How many of you are actually watching the whole video, or is it more so like you'll stick the video on, watch it while you've got time, and then you'll get just. Uh, sort of get on with other things because that's fine too if i'm not i'm not saying it's an obligation or anything like that that people have to watch the whole video it's completely up to you how much of the video you decide to watch um i'm just curious to know is all this guy is getting fresh good good Yeah, I'm really hoping we get a better angel deal this floor, but I'm having a feeling at 21% it's unlikely. Honestly, Beast might be the way to go here. But I don't know, even Beast feels like it could be a big mistake here. I'll, I'll grab the card anyways, but like, this would have to be a stellar floor for that to be a good idea, I think. Ah, you... That certainly makes things a little more difficult. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, that... That doesn't really cut the cheese now, does it? Doesn't do as much good. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this is this 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 run as a whole is kind of a wash. This is one that we could very very easily die on. We have very low HP. We've gained only a single damage up the entire run, and it's not a particularly substantial one. Little Brimstone is is sort of helping out with that. He is sort of um, giving us a little more reason to live. Ow. But I'll be honest. It's not looking all so hot. What what is the um marking on the map there? Oh, it's a key beggar, okay. I was like, what the hell is this um is this icon on the minimap? Good. 
Unfortunately, Key Beggar, I only have a few for you, and they're mine. I don't want to give them away, so... Tough taties for you, I guess. Got a bomb there, why not? Lovely. Lovely stuff. Right. Yeah, the burn orbitals this guy creates, I didn't realise they were so sporadic. I didn't realise they got so everywhere. But apparently they do. These runs always feel a bit rough when it's like 22 minutes or 23 minutes, we have 24 minutes in. We've not reached the uh, the mum fight yet. The run doesn't feel all that good. I'm rapidly losing HP. It's just one of those ones, isn't it? It just kind of happens sometimes. I mean, this is the thing. Like, I, I do have YouTuber luck. It's It's been proven time and time again that I do. But... At the same time, every now and again, I have to repent for my sins of YouTuber luck, and I get shafted a little bit. I get shafted quite a bit. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Um, yeah, let's just go straight in here. Unlocked the halo, finally. Could have done that last episode, but I was stupid. I guess we'll try the beast. Honestly, I just, I don't even know. We'd, we'd have to get a colossally good item from the mausoleum here for me to feel comfortable that we're going to live through this. But I guess we're trying it. Oh, bug, I almost walked directly into those spikes. What on earth is going on here? Oh, balls. I just lost my soul heart and a red heart because I walked over the spikes. This is not going well. These Ash Faller dudes are fucking crazy. They're really cool. Really interesting enemy idea, but... There's a teleporter there! How did I miss that? You fool! <laughs> God damn it, I just, like, wasted HP trying to get over those spikes, and there's literally a teleporter right there. This is the mausoleum, you idiot. That's kind of one of the main things that happens in the mausoleum. Oh, God. Okay, so... So now we're saying about needing a super stellar item. I think we're gonna need... Just a run-winning item for this to be okay. That is an enemy I have not seen before. Which is crazy that I still haven't seen enemies. Pretty cool looking. The devil. I also never left a trinket behind. Which means that I can't even get Tainted Isaac if I made it there. But it's fine because I doubt we're going to make it anyways. I don't like to be pessimistic, but this run... It feels a little dookie. Like, this is taking forever. Yeah, more HP is lovely. Oh, no, no, no. These bosses, I cannot do. Oh, how did I not get hit there? That was impressive. People, have, people keep telling me how to do these bosses. And just, I understand the theory behind it. <laughs> <laughs> but putting it into practice, my brain is just not made correctly to assess those actions. Oh, what the fuck? He's duplicating them. Stop. <gasps> A soul heart. Okay, okay, okay. That brings us back from the brink. Oh god, these these enemies scare the living shit out of me, they do. Oh god, I got between them. Holy shit, this is this is really stressful, this room. What on earth's going on here? <coughs> Taurus, thank you. Daddy Long Legs is very good, although Blood Bombs arguably might have been better. <laughs> A soul heart. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Really, Daddy Long Legs? You hit the inanimate object that doesn't deal damage to me. And again, okay, no, you got you got the bird this time. That was that was fine of you. Yeah, Daddy Long Legs is pretty darn good. I just don't have the speed at the start of rooms to like feel comfortable. As the room progresses, obviously our speed builds and it starts to feel a little bit better. But overall, I just don't feel comfortable at all here. Die! Oh my god. Thanks, Taurus. 
just in time. I cannot remember what the uh, the little the little dude does. Is he gonna duplicate him or something? Oop, nope, he just killed him. Oh god. Right, on to the ascent. Honestly. We only have nine bombs, we can't bomb through many rooms, and we don't have a lot of damage. I think making our way through the ascent, um, I think going through the ascent here is going to be rough. Also, do we have a slightly d discolored screen right now? It looked discolored there. Oh god, these birds are confusing me. Land, you fools! Long legs, do your thing. Or don't, I guess. Yeah, we do have a slightly discolored uh, room. Oh, God. Really? This is probably a room I want to bomb through. Honestly, I'm, I'm so unsure. I do want to bomb through, but I think this guy can still drop a blackout for me if I kill him. Let's, let's just try and kill him. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, balls. He did full heart damage as well. Shit me. He didn't even drop... I thought, for some reason, I thought he could still drop a blackout. We have one hit remaining. We are going to need some HP pretty rapid. Okay, this is a room we bomb out of. There is no reason. Okay. I bombed myself and died. I was trying to avoid the black orbs of death and ended up walking into my own bomb. This has been a real skill issue. I, I completely agree with the death screen here. Either way, this was a bit of a weird episode. I, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.